there's something strangely intoxicating about gold. The shiny metal has been turning heads for thousands of years, and greed to acquire more of it has caused countless people to do despicable things. Everyone knows that gold is extremely valuable, and just a few solid gold bricks can set you up for generations. But have you ever heard of rhodium? This rare and precious metal is not only 10 times rarer than gold, it's also far more valuable. So why isn't it as common an investment as gold? In this video, we will answer that question. Make sure to tap that subscribe button to get all of the latest and greatest videos from our channel. Gold has been a symbol of wealth in popular culture and a popular investment choice for nearly all of human history. The ancient Egyptians used the precious metal to craft funeral masks for pharaohs. The Romans began circulating it in coin form as currency. And Spanish conquistadors destroyed entire civilizations in their quest for gold. Modern governments created gold standards to assign value to their money. We still refer to the best of anything as the gold standard, even if no countries back their currency with gold anymore. When the real gold standard faded in the 1970s, investing in gold became more popular, and the metal maintains a reputation as an inflation-resistant asset today. Gold is classic. It's not going anywhere. But that doesn't mean it's your only choice if you're interested in investing in precious metals. And it may not be your best choice either. Meet Rhodium. While gold and silver are common assets in precious metals, Rhodium is not. This rare metal was discovered in 1803. It's part of the Platinum Metals Group, alongside Palladium, Platinum, Iridium, and others. It's a hard, shiny, silver-colored metal that doesn't easily react to oxygen, so it's an excellent catalyst thanks to its resistance to corrosion and oxidation. It's also able to withstand temperatures up to 600 degrees Celsius, or 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit, and remains insoluble in most acids. These properties make rhodium the ideal choice for tons of applications. Rhodium is used as a finish for jewelry, optical tools, and mirrors. It's also used in electrical connections and aircraft engines, but mostly its main gig is in catalytic converters. For most engines, there is no substitute for rhodium. Over 80% of all annual rhodium supplies go to the auto industry. The first rhodium bullion coins and bars were minted in the early 2000s, and interest in the rare metal has been growing among investors ever since. So why haven't you heard of rhodium investing before? The reality is that the rhodium market is tiny compared to other precious metals. No pure rhodium mines exist. It's produced entirely as a byproduct of platinum and nickel mining in a complex extraction process. Only 10 mines produce rhodium in the world, most located in South Africa and Russia. Because of its rarity, less than 30 tons of rhodium are produced each year. In comparison, there are usually about 2,500 tons of gold produced annually. We're talking Babe Ruth rookie card level rare here. That kind of rarity is great for driving up prices of the commodity. The current value of an ounce of rhodium is around $7,000. But it also makes for a riskier investment than some other precious metals. Political issues in South Africa could effectively cut off 80% of the annual production and short-term vulnerability to price fluctuations can significantly diminish its value. The high-risk nature of the rhodium market does not make it a wise investment for everyone. But along with those risks comes great reward. And investors who aren't afraid of the precious metals market could see massive payoffs. Currently, the automotive industry is entirely reliant on rhodium. There is no shortage of demand for the rare metal. Rhodium is a finite resource. Once the last bits of it have been pulled from the earth, there will never be more introduced to the market. That moment will lead to the price of rhodium rising to its highest level. And rhodium cannot become insolvent, unlike companies, banks, or governments. It will continue to hold value even when the rest of the market takes a pounding. Rhodium has had a spectacular run in recent years. In 2015, the average value of rhodium was $949. In 2020, low supply coupled with high demand from the auto industry 
caused prices to spike to $11,745 per ounce. And in April of 2021, that price spiked again to $28,742. In 2023, the average cost of rhodium has been $9,678 per ounce. So while we aren't seeing the massive spikes like during the pandemic, these values are nothing to scoff at. And they show that while rhodium is a highly volatile commodity, it also has been trending upward for the past decade. Given that the metal will only become more scarce, we can expect to see price increases again. Investing in rhodium is more complex than investing in gold, so there are a few things you need to know before you purchase your first ounce. First, understand that the rhodium market is tiny, 1.1 million troy ounces. That's about 10% of the palladium market and less than 1% the size of the gold market. That makes rhodium an asset with little liquidity. And even a tiny shift in a market of that size can have massive effects on your investment, good or bad. You'll also need to know the different ways you can invest in rhodium and decide which is best for your investment goals. Physical rhodium can be found in bars and coins, but bullion bars are the most common. Coins are challenging to mint, thanks to rhodium's mega-high melting temperature and tendency to crack during minting. Most rhodium coins on the market contain only a trace amount of rhodium mixed with other metals from the platinum group. For that reason, it's generally best to buy physical rhodium in its bullion form. There are a few big players in the rhodium minting game. Pamp Suisse caters to investors looking for extra artistic value. Their bullion is stamped with intricate designs like the Lady Fortuna and Lunar Rabbit bars. Baird & Company produced the first legal tender coin made of rhodium, the Tuvaluan $100 coin. They also produce 1-ounce rhodium bars made of 99.9% .9 fine rhodium. Most experts generally agree that physical rhodium bullion, stored in international vaults, is the best possible rhodium investment you can make. But if you aren't Scrooge McDuck, there are other options. Rhodium Exchange Traded Funds, or ETFs, are relatively new to the scene, but X-Tracker's Physical Rhodium ETF XFRD and Africa Rhodium ETF ETFHO are two well-known products. ETFs work similarly to stocks and public companies. They're backed by physical bullion, and the fund's share price correlates with the market's performance. But investors own a share in the fund. The administrator owns the physical bullion. That makes you more susceptible to custodial fraud, fund mismanagement, and bank system failures. That doesn't mean Rhodium ETFs are a bad option. Depending on your goals and funds, these products can be a low-cost and convenient way to get into the Rhodium market. If you're a crypto investor, there's Rhodium available for you too. Rhodium Coin is one of the only stablecoins backed solely by physical rhodium using the Ethereum network. Due to its fractionalized nature, you can buy any amount of the asset at any time. That makes it more liquid than other forms of the precious metal, appealing to investors who want to make moves quickly. It's also redeemable for physical rhodium at a ratio of 1,000 rhodium coin per ounce of rhodium. Of course, that comes with hurdles. Owning your own physical metal doesn't, but this is probably fine for most people. The most appealing thing about rhodium coin is the low barrier of entry. You can start purchasing your own bit of rhodium for less than $10. However, as a word of caution to my viewers, always do thorough research before making any investment decision. Rhodium investing, similar to gold investing, is very unlikely to make you rich. It's better to view this type of investing as insurance. Think of buying physical or ETF rhodium as a hedge against heavy inflation, or even as a backup in case of economic collapse. For most people, index funds will be their best bet to building truly lasting wealth. So before you head over to your local mint, check out this video on your screen.